Hey guys, it's Oz here. Welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be looking at the new Steam Turbine from MFR, my favourite mod. And uh, I've got everything we want here. Um, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be using uh, the factorization to get our steam with a uh, water boiler. That's the recipe there, so we'll go that later. Um, small uh, leadstone energy conduits, which is what I'll be using. Uh, and some item ducts, this is how we're going to be fueling the whole system. And uh, the calorie, calorie metric burners. So, so let's uh, start by building that water boiler. So let's just grab that stuff first. Okay, so it's this iron around the outside. And a great, uh, an iron bar at the top. Gets this out water boiler. Okay, I already made a little water pool area, so if I go, okay, it's popped up there, so I can put this on top, it's not at the bottom, but you can see it sucks water up in, so that's how we're going to get steam, now we're going to make to, ah, ah, use English Dean, or another language, if you could use another language, so let's uh, make our calorie metric burners doop, 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 doop. like that and then bones on the side I made two because I've decided to, to fuel this system with um two fuels and then three later runs so I've got carrots and cooked potatoes which are coming up from the uh, farm it says love the elevator which is the previous episode go watch it if you haven't because elevators are awesome. Because I can just go. Whoop! Magic. Okay, dokie. So, let us. Uh, hmm. Let us put one. One there. And. One there. Okay, dokie. So, let's uh, start. Mm, should we. No, we need to make that steam thingy first. The steam turbine. Okay, so you're gonna need to go into the the never to get never brick. So it's just two pieces of never rack and just heat them. So it's pretty easy. It's pistons, a, a furnace, a machine block. So it's fairly easy to make, but of course you need to get that go into the never for it. And furnace in the middle, machine block at the bottom, never brick some of the bottom corners, uh, pistons on the side, and then plastic sheets along the top. You know what? I've never actually used this machine. I've never tested it, so this is the first time. You shall be witnessing at uh Okay, there we go. Steam turbine. Okay, so obviously it tells us how much energy's got in it. Uh, this is probably how much steam it's got in it. So let's try and get some steam into it. Okay. Let's get those item docks out. Uh, item docks and Let's make some extra ones. I'm using the uh, hardened glass ones, the ones that you can see the items go through. Okay. So, what are we going to use? Potato, that two, wrench them to output. Okay. This, 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 okay. Dokey, we're just gonna get some levers to turn them on temporarily. I'll put servos in later so they don't need the levers. Okay, you'll note that they're in um, sticky uh, barrels, that way when we automatically suck items out, they'll never get give the last item. Okay, so put their switches. And we've got potatoes going through. And you also notice uh, the stupid ants trying to bite me. Uh, that these numbers are. <coughs> they lie. Because if I just right click one baked potato, not 48. Um, it does take a while for them to uh, update. If I right click in here, 46 baked potatoes. Each potato about 56 seconds. So about bread, about the same. And. 
building a bit of steam, building a bit of energy. So 10,000 RF is actually about 1,000 MJ, so it's pretty fast. And this, uh, okay, that's odd. Okay, so that's obviously a buffer. And obviously the uh, texture's not in for it. Uh, who cares? Uh, okay, so what we want to do is we want to run the power out. Okay. Um, let's just grab a NG cell first. Grab some stuff to make the leadstone conduits. Um, I'm going to use uh, leadstone conduits because um, right now I don't think the steam bore is going to make that much power. I mean steam turbine. And if it does later on, I'll just upgrade it. Okay, okay, that should be enough. And let's just put this NG cell. Uh, do I want to put it from this side? Yeah. I'm stuck, aren't I? There we go. Okay, there we go. And then, why won't you go down? Okay, this is odd. Alright, okay, so we'll put you somewhere else then. How about here? Here? No? Is there something wrong with this? Oh, it's a frame. Derp. No, not that, not that. I totally forgot to make this. So three copper, redstone, and electrum frame. That, yeah, God, that makes a lot of difference when you actually make stuff properly. Ooh, not much copper. Yeah. Won't need too much, so one gold. That's tin, that's silver. That's ferrous. Gold, silver. In the induction smelter. Shoot, gotta grab that. Okay. Two redstone now. Okay, excellent. Uh, okay, okay, then ding, ding, ding. Okay, 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 that makes more sense. Okay, there we go. Uh, we want why is that not importing stuff anyway? Oh, yes, it is. Uh, okay, so we want this side to be an output. Yep, output it is. Okay, so those are three engines up there. Output. Uh, 80 each, so total is 320, and that cable can do 400. So it's got enough room for another 80, so which is exactly how much power this thing can push out. So 80 max, which is not doing anything because that system's full. Okay, okay, so let's turn. Okay. work like that. Let's hope so. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So now we're generating power. Excellent. Excellent. Business. Hmm. Okay, Dougie. So I think so. Just as a roundup, we're generating power off steam that's generated off a water boiler, which. The heat comes from burning fuel, so essentially we've got a biopower at the moment. Excellent. So uh, if you like that, please like, uh, please subscribe as well, that's awesome. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, and you got any suggestions, uh, any requests and stuff, that would be awesome. So until then guys, nah.